When it comes to innovation, the data storage industry is no slouch, which is a good job because data is growing faster than ever. So how we store and access it has had to adapt just as quickly. And all flash has gone from buzz phrase to mainstream industry reality, shunting traditional hard drives to one side. So I came here to Huawei Connect Europe in Madrid to unpack what all flash means in practice. Hello. Thanks very much. And to help explain why it matters and how it's transforming the future of computing, I was joined by these two. Hello, I'm Philip Nicola, founder and lead analyst at Coldago Research. Hello, my name is Yuan Yuan, responsible for the scalable storage in Huawei. Welcome to Huawei Connected Europe. So why the rush to all flash and what advantages does it offer over its hard drive alternatives? I think the first element for end users, large corporation, cloud provider is about addressing the complex complexity dimension. You have just to select one device, one media, let's say flash, who can address the IOPS, latency and throughput with just one, one element, one component, one array. So this is the beauty of this, plus the footprint, plus the cost, even if today the cost is not in favor of SSD, but you see the trend, and having all, let's say, a full flash, all flash data center, I think it's, this is unstoppable. Unstoppable, you anyway. So what are the specific advantages of the Huawei all flash technologies? Like Philip mentioned, so the all flash, the uh, memory, so it's a, uh, has many good features, high performance, low TCOs. But uh, I think the big hurdle between the SSD and the, and the real environment is, is the price. Uh, regarding the price, uh, is uh, two to three times higher than the hard drive disks. So uh, what we have, are doing is we try to help the customer to reduce the TCO, especially for the CapEx investment. Uh, we introduce the high density designs and the compression technologies we guarantee the two by one, the, uh, the compression rates, and with the uh, high density designs with 36 discs in one boxes, which can dramatically help the customer reduce the uh, total cost. So we have uh, two types of equipment launched to the market. One is the uh, Pacific servers, and the new family member is uh, 9926. Uh, we provide the uh, parallel file systems, 36 discs and boxes, provide the data lake solutions uh, to the customers. The other choice for customers is uh, uh, if they would like to use their own file systems, uh, especially for the OTT, high performance computing customers, they can choose our Ocean Disks, it's a smart enclosures, and we extremely the high performance 160 gigabyte per second throughputs and uh, tens of millions of IOPS uh, to serve for the uh, AI inference, uh, training, and also uh, high performance computing workload. Traditional storage can only provide maybe 20% or 30% of the performance demandings. You know, for customers, the high performance means they can save the money, uh, improve the utilization rate of the GPU card. There's a huge number of pluses. What, what are the technologies required to support scale out or build servers as you go storage? One of these key elements is to run the application where the data reside or to facilitate the access to the, to the data wherever it resides. So I think this is a, a key element and you have, de de you have developed a few of these elements yeah. in order to, um, uh, <clears throat> to facilitate this. And this is what I introduced a few years ago when I, I promoted the U3 approach, if you remember yeah. this. It was a universal, unified and ubiquitous approach. And every term is very important. You have to consume the data where it resides to support any kind of application workload and having a full flash, it's typically designed for this. You mm -hmm. also support multiple access methods. It could be file-based, it could be ob object-based, it could be some, uh, with some application integration. I refer to HDFS, for instance, mm -hmm. but, and also leverage really fast network. RDMA-based uh, yeah. network, Rocky, all of these. So supporting S3 over RDMA, NFS over RDMA, all of these elements are really important when you need to uh, let's say, unify independent data silos like this. There's, there's another important element, and you were referring to it earlier, I think, about energy efficiency yeah. with all storage. The Energy Star 
certification is a sort of standard for energy efficiency. Why is that important to Huawei and how do you go about meeting it? Okay. It's not, it's not only important to Huawei, I think it's important to all the customers, energy saving, especially in the European regions. Uh, you know, AI demands a huge amount of data. If you need to implement the uh, training on clusters, uh, science of cars, uh, and uh, the amount you need is uh, maybe a tens of petabytes. But, uh, you know, the power consumption is a big issue. Uh, the power consuming uh, so is a big issue. So from the very beginning, so in our designs, we try to, from all the dimensions, help the customer to save the energies. Uh, we uh, give the very critical criteria where it's uh, 0 0.25, 25 watts per terabyte. It's extremely lower uh, for the uh, power consumption per unit. And Anderstar is a kind of a certification. Uh, we are honored to be certificated with Anderstar. By all means, we save the, help the customer to save the energies as certificated by third party agencies. Uh, they think Huawei is a, is a green storage provider. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we're here actually at Huawei Connect Europe in Madrid and we've got people coming into the conference all behind us. You've been here a couple of days or so, you're heading out very soon. What have you made of it so far? What's stand out for you at this exhibition? I am impressed by a few development and product. The first one is the A-Series. The 800 have incredible specification and beyond that, it delivers real performance. It's good to have some good specification on the paper, but also in it's reality, as well. this is a, a super, uh, super fast product, super resilient. It delivers uh, uh, very good results, and it's also illustrated by some benchmark results. So, first, uh, first element. Second element, the Dorado, of course. Ocean Store Dorado with the V7, the new gen, architecture and different features, the DPU, the full NVMe, any to any uh, uh, disaggregated composable architecture. I think this is, um, uh, again, uh, a very important uh, milestone for the company. And the last one is Ocean Protect. Ocean Protect is also a very interesting product. Um, I heard from the market, from other colleagues and uh, and users that they, they pay attention to this. Now it's on the radar from um, uh, many, many end users wishing to test it, to try it, 